All right, friends, subscribers, and other strangers, what's up? This is your boy Beard, uh, back for another video. So I was watching Primo Chemo today, and Cubic Shipping came up, and there was some confusion on the rules, and what qualifies, and the sizes, and the formulas. So I figured, you know what, make a quick video and tell everybody exactly what it is, where you can buy it, and how to, what the rules are, and how to calculate it. So. Let's get started. All right, so what is cubic shipping? So cubic shipping was designed for business to, in the commercial rate, to move small pack, small heavy packages. So the cubic shipping is just dimensional shipping and distance. The weight, it, it can be up to 20 pounds for a package. So that's the maximum. And so there are two different types of cubic shipping. There's priority cubic shipping and ground advantage cubic shipping. They are nearly identical. They have one distinct difference, and but both of them are limited to 20 pounds. Both are the same formula. Uh, the maximum side length of any box is 18 inches, and the minimum side length on any box is two inches. So those are your similarities. And the one difference is when you calculate the cubic foot of the box, which is length times width times height divided by 1728, equals the cubic footage of a box. The maximum cubic foot of a priority cubic shipping box is 0.5 cubic feet, and the maximum for ground advantage is one cubic foot. That's it, the only difference. And so, just keep in mind, uh, this this technically, I believe, is the slowest shipping method. Maybe it's above media, but it's, it's a part of ground advantage, and the, it so they say it is slower shipping. So I've never experienced that, but that's what everything I've read about the rules and everything says that it, it could be the slowest shipping. So what type of boxes? What does this look like, Beard? So here we go. I have a 1044 box. Aren't you glad I brought, brought props? 1044 is 0 0.092 cubic feet. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the price range of cubic so a small box and a big box are not the same. So it, it raises up every tenth of a cubic foot. So point zero to point one, point one to point two, point two to point three, all the way up to point five for priority. And then the 10 steps all the way up to one for ground advantage cubic. And so this is the cheapest box. It falls into the point one range. It is a 1044. I use it a lot. It's a 0.92. And so a lot of people think a 1044 at 864 don't they look the same or pretty close to the same but you can see the 864 is going to be they're the same but it's going to, so it has a little bit more space in it it's a 0 0.11 so it moves up to the next level of cubic shipping on either either one ground or, or priority and so so this is a this is the post office so beard does that all we have to worry about for a cubic foot of a box Absolutely not. UPS and FedEx use this religiously to determine part of the weight system for all their boxes. You know, on USPS, if you're under a pound, you know, they don't really calculate the size of the box. But once you go above a pound, it does matter. But under a pound, it doesn't matter. Every single package with uh, UPS and FedEx matters. And so, as you can see, that box is a little bigger. So, how about this one? How about a 1244? So, this will tell you the difference. Look at it, it's a point 0.1 length times width times height uh, divided by 1728. I'm like Wilson on uh, on improvement. <laughs> uh, so the 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 eight six four and the twelve four four have the exact same interior dimensions uh, for cubic footage. You know they're shaped a little different, but it's the same same cubic footage of the box. And so. Uh, I use a lot of 1064, so that's a 0 0.14. So it is. So if if you've got a box and you're struggling, you go, man, should I use the 864? Or how about? But I've got a 1064 and it'll fit better, and I can put some more cushion in there. Uh, remember, the weight up to 20 pounds doesn't matter. A one pound box versus a three pound box, as long as it's in the same range of. And these are one's a 0 0.11 and one's a 0 0.14, so they fall into the 0.1 to 0.2 range. Take care of your customer. <laughs> use the bigger box and be fine. How about a 1086? That's a 0.28. 
right here. In case y'all can see it. It's, it's uh, basically, four, I think it's 480 divided by 1728. 1728. And so that leaves a 0.28. So this still qualifies for priority, either one. So, Beard, what does it look like? So, this is this is 12, 12. One cubic foot is 12 times 12 times 12, I believe. So, uh, 12 times 6 times 6 should be a half. And so that that's halfway to the size. So you can get a pretty decent sized box for priority. 1086 is a pretty good sized box. You know, this came up today. I used a 12, 10, 8 box and it qualified for ground advantage cubic. I'm like, that's weird. I'm used to point I'm used to the half being I never studied to look at it and go, it's up to one cubic foot for ground advantage, the difference. So I got this big bigger box here. It is a 12 times a 16 times 12 times 8. It's a point 89. So this one will not qualify for priority cubic, but it will qualify for ground advantage cubic. And so where do you get these? So priority cubic is available on eBay. Uh, remember, it's a commercial rate. It's got to be through commercial sources. Uh, but pirate ships, what I use all the time. I ship with pirate ship almost exclusively uh, because I use UPS and UPS pirate ship on UPS. Check out the PPP podcast. Uh, if you're not watching it, what the heck? That was me and John. We talked a lot about this. That's probably what got the conversation going. We are talking about saving money and shipping and how difficult shipping is, which it is 100% the most difficult thing to learn in reselling. Uh, but the pirate ship, because I have UPS pickups every single day, uh, they pick up in the driveway and it's it's been significant. Ground saver has been cheaper. But if you're looking at ground saver on eBay, you'll notice. Beer, what are you talking about? Ground saver is never cheaper than ground advantage. Switch sources. I think eBay's holding some he holds some a discount back. How do you pad uh, your numbers without really telling anybody? Does anybody know? Is anybody going to know? <laughs> the beard knew, damn it. All right. So I hope this helps. Hope this is not as clear as mud. I hope this is clear. Um, like like my dad was a glass maker and you can see right through me. All right, that was a, I have to tell my kid that when he was little, your grandfather was not a glass maker. I'm not a glass maker. I can't see through you. Get away from the TV. <laughs> Terrible joke probably. But let's just for a little recap, similarities, they're uh, 20 pound max. Uh, maximum length of a side is 18 inches. And minimum is two inches. The one difference is is when you calculate the cubic footage, it's a half a cubic foot for priority, and it's a full cubic foot available for ground advantage. But take it, take advantage of this. That's a lot of advantage, and then we're at super advantage in this video today. All right, <laughs> um, pirate ship, check it out. It'll it'll pull eBay in for you. And so another nice feature of pirate ship, you know, I'm not affiliated with pirate ship. They don't sponsor me. They don't sponsor anybody. I tried. I asked and is I sell on Bonanza and I sell on TrueGather and so they both pay on on PayPal well I have Pirate Ship pull all my PayPal every time they, they go pull one of the integrations and so I don't miss a sale and a shipping for one of those items because every time I go to ship it pulls up and it'll tell you that hey this came from PayPal so that's a nice, a nice feature of, of Pirate Ship as well there's some other services out there v, v, Vico, Vico B E E Q O. I need to do some research into that one. I've used it a little bit. Um, I'll get you a future video on that and tell you um, how that one is. I know right now, or at least they were offering a 5% discount on shipping. I don't know if that's still going on. I'll find out. I'll let you know another video about shipping. Hopefully this helps. Save yourself some money. eBay does not offer the ground advantage cubic as far as I know. I've never seen it. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Say, hey, Beard. Hey, we got that. But uh, I don't remember it. I've seen the cubic doesn't seem to come up as much and so understand how to calculate it so you'll know why are they offering that that's cheaper um pirate ship i have mine selected the cheapest so it always shows me the cheapest no matter what it is all right we'll see you in the next video um like subscribe thumbs up all that fun stuff uh i'm back making videos you don't want to miss them because uh a lot of information i'm going to make some yard sale videos i've got footage with my new gopro you don't want to miss it. Watch me pick up uh, Saturday with the one yard sale. I ran into Harlan who's giving up on yard sales. I'm like, how do you give up on yard sales? And you're here. <laughs> we both bought a lot of stuff at one sale. I look forward to making that video for you. 
We'll see you. Roll Tide.